Well, hello everybody. Welcome back. Smithy here onto our Jurassic World. Now, I've noticed that a few of you have been asking about how to use MC Edit and use the download of this particular area. So, funnily enough, I said a few episodes ago I wanted to bring in a visitor center, the old visitor center. However, I'm going to bring in two of them into the map. So, I've got the map now offline, e.g. it's not on the server. And what we're going to do is show you how... Uh, to download and install uh, MC Edit schematics uh, quite simply this is not a long tutorial it's gonna be very short you'll have to work out some of the others there are many other tutorials including mine going back two years of how to use MC Edit so first things first let's go and choose our downloads now all of you obviously know where my downloads are I'm not going to use mine I'm going to use somebody else's because I want to do two things at once so let's go and have a look so here you go guys, I am over at www.planetminecraft.com and uh, what I've done is I've gone into the uh, projects and I've searched for Jurassic Park Visitor because I just want the Visitor Center and I already know which ones I want. I want to bring in this superb one here by Roderick's. This one is going to be the showcase one which visitors can go around. It's been recreated in the safe part of the island for a visitor attraction which no one has actually thought of yet. Uh, funnily enough mine comes out even if you put uh, Jurassic Park, Jurassic World my map comes out quite easy so there you go building up those diamonds thanks very much guys for you and I've had 122 downloads already in the first 24 hours. The second one I'm going to download is uh, well you can download funnily enough you can download the visitor center there or you can download a map pack which has four items in it, including the, the Raptor area here. So uh, I might actually do that. I'm just thinking that was put down 11 months ago and this was three years ago. So maybe I should bring down the super duper one over here. In fact, that's what I might do. So I might download that one. So the easy thing is, is he's had 700 views, 700 downloads. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to download this Jurassic Park pack and what you'll find is if you go to the particular section you'll find the information on the different bits of the map and they're all squares so these he has sorted out into nice squares look so that's really really cool uh, yeah that is the one I want I'm sure of that uh, there is another one I must go and check out is the one as well so and you can actually when you download it I'll show you what to do because this comes with a game it comes with some vehicles as well which could be really cool uh, for my map if I change them into Jurassic World ones uh, so what we do is you can either download what I do is sorry let's go there you can download the schematic or the world save uh, now I haven't uploaded my world save yet because I need to set up a Dropbox account to do that so I'll be doing that soon for the whole world uh, so I'm going to download the schematic and literally what happens is you download it and once we've downloaded it and saved it I'm just going to save it uh, to wherever I do. The schematics are hardly any and you can see I've already got one because I've downloaded it. So I'll leave that. What I'll do is I will go backwards uh, and then I'll download uh, the other one. I'm going to download this one here. One small one as well. So Ramesses 88, superb. Uh, I'm going to download that. And once I've downloaded these and I'm happy, I will take you into MC Edit and show you where that that's a schematic I want a small one as well see uh, to use in the forest so I am going to save that one as well and you've got to remember where you saved your schematics when you downloaded them this is a much smaller one uh, in fact I know there is another one which I might use I don't know it's how big I wanted it so you can go and have a look on here what you can uh, find uh, what I'm going to do now is head over to the MC edit site and just quickly talk about that so MC Edit site is www.mcedit.net. If you just search in Google for MC Edit, you'll come across their site. Now they've got these new development ones, which don't, we're, which are a bit buggy. So we're just going to go to the download section and I'm going to download the old version one MC Edit, but it's now actually just been updated recently. So it works on most systems and you'll come to this page, which you will need to know your computer 32 bit, download the 32 bit. If your computer is 64 bit, download the 64 bit. I will tell you though that the 32 bit runs on any machine and literally you can have Windows, Apple or Linux. So I'm going to download the Windows one, I'm going to download the 64 bit one and you just again save it into the folder. That's a 300 meg download. All you have to do is uh, install it, uh, unpack it onto your desktop 
and then once you've got it your desktop you can literally go into that folder and find the MC edit application and run it from there so the next part of the video we will be in our world using MC edit and I'm going to show you what we're going to try and do which is import the little house or I call it visitor center so we'll join you in a minute now you can see here, here is my uh, Jurassic World rendered in the new 1.33 uh, MC edit. So it doesn't look the same, but you can see we are here. So if you uh, had your own world, what you've got to do before importing is load up the world in MC edit and you've got to select it from the Minecraft folder. You can see that it does work. You can see some of the things we've got here. Uh, I haven't used MC edit very much, but I will do for this world. If you come right out here, uh, you can come out and it starts building so you can move around the world and see how far it goes now What we are going to do to bring in is we're going to head out right over here because this is where I'm going to put the ruined uh, Visitor center and the world the world will build and I know it's going to be over here because we already decided previously at the base of the oh, that's the island with the uh, With the uh, I'm trying to think now. Spitters! And have you seen? We might get one in Jurassic World. Only less than 48 hours to go. And I will have nearly finished watching it. Uh, so dead, dead, dead excited. And also today, if you see me on Twitter, uh, I put on the fact that we'd bought all the tickets for the trains and the hotel to go to Minecon on the 4th of July. Uh, stay on my tube to see us there. We're going to do some video logs, uh, me and my daughter. are going to do that of Minecon. Right, over here. If you remember, we had the Carnotaurus here. So what I'm going to do is, and it's just into the, just inside the big area I'm going to put the uh, visitor center now I'm going to put the visitor center facing the sea now this is where it gets quite difficult so what I'm going to do is we're going to try it out uh, what I've got to do is we will import the uh, the visitor center into this spot here that's where I'm going to do it so you let it build right we'll be back shortly so I'm not going to do a big tutorial here we're just going to bring it in and you can select things so what I'm going to do is I'm going to import so what we're going to do is going to import our first building. Now all I know where it is, see, so that's the, oh no, this, that's the one here with the massive one in. And you notice that all that's got the massive JP Visitor Center and it's got the Raptors Park, fences, gates and all that. So they're cool and there's cars as well. So there's some quite good things in there. If you're going to build a park, then go on, head over there to have a look at it. So we'll come back because I want to use this schematic here, which is the Jurassic Park Visitor. And when it happens, look, it comes into the map and it's not that big. And uh, we're going to do something with it, which is make it sort of, uh, it's facing the wrong way. Uh, so it needs to be there so what I've got to do is I've got to rotate it so while it's floating just go to the rotate button uh, oh yes it is look at that and it doesn't matter where it goes first off because let me just show you I'm gonna put it here uh, I'm gonna put it here like so and it's just getting used to it so once you've got it you can let go and move it around now if you remember or anybody's seen this vista center is now overgrown so it's just sticking out one so what you got to do is work out yeah it's still there look so this is going to be this is uh, i don't want it floating uh it's high above the ground so i might have to move it left and right so the easiest way is we're going to move it left first of all so if we need to move it down the best way is go to the side and i'm going to move it on the side i'm going to move this down into the trees see because I'm going to sink it in there. I might actually put some, might move it the other way as well. Uh, because I want it to be a bit of a wreck. We've seen it as a wreck. So I need to move it across. And you just position it in. And that's how you do with my world as well. In fact, I'm going to move it over there. Because I can always delete the bits and pieces afterwards. And I'm going to sink it back into there. Because what will happen is... Uh, it will dig out the cave at the back, but I'm not really cared about that because it's just supposed to be an overgrown uh, a ruin, and that's what I'm putting in here. Once you're happy with how heavy it is or how high it is, and I might sink it a bit more, uh, it's just play around. You've got to go and play around it. Play around it on a flat world. There you go. And then I, I can get rid of it if I want to. Uh, the water's there. I know it's there. What will happen is I might just move it that way 
and we'll work with it. I've just got to work out where and how high it goes really to the forest. I think we're just going to bury it there. Once I've done it, I'm just going to hit that import button and all the trees will disappear. Uh, that's absolutely fine because I'm going to do something with it. I want to make it a bit more uh, wrecked as such. I'm just going to hide it in the forest. I'm going to put some trees around it. Put some trees growing up through the centre and sort of do that. So that's how you bring it in and just deselect. And what that is now in the map. Uh, now, if you're not happy with it, which I'm quite, quite sort of not happy with it because it's now dug into the ground but hey let's have a look you can have a look and see maybe I need to put it up higher on the ground and just fill in blocks underneath I can do uh, uh, basically I can do undo uh, and so undo and I can bring it oop, bring it back up as well actually in fact uh, undo again so let's just do undo 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 and it'll undo it and then bring it back so what I might do is I'll import it just over here, about over here. I think I might just have to do that. Let's rotate it again. Just want it so it's sort of a, an attraction that you can see. So I can then, so let's just do this. And what I'll do is I'll play around with it and come back because this needs to go down to... Nope. Oh there we go look so that we now know that's sunk just sunk in there yeah so I can what I can do play around with world edit and take the front out anyway of that so I don't, I don't know really it's just it's not a great place to put it but I didn't mind you I could actually bring it back up a bit like that now I'm going to import it And then I'm going to deselect. So there you have it. Uh, that's the easy way to bring it into the map. Uh, what we do now is uh, I'm going to leave the other one as a surprise because it's quite a bit more work. I'm going to uh, come back into the world and show you what it looks like before I'm going to make it all overgrown. So there we go. Right, we'll go back and come back out of it. Uh, you must save the world. You can either do Control S or save. So funnily enough, I've got it set on night. If you saw, uh, I must show you, but I haven't done any night shots uh, because the the uh, main streets all lit up. So I thought I'd just come over and see if this was lit up uh, before we went in. Uh, now this was obviously in its heyday. This was just a small one. We're on night, so the mobs are around here. So when you go in here, though, it is. It has been lit up, so I'm going to have to replace uh, all the light with dark pillars. So it is a basic one. It's really good, though. It's got the basic structure. So if you wanted to kit out a visitor center, this is the one to download until you see the big one. Uh, so what I'm going to do is turn this to daylight and then come back. But I thought I wanted to see that. Velociraptor's hungry. Remember, I'm not in the uh, online world so here is the visitor center by daylight and uh, yeah you can see it is the garage around here but you can see I've imported it in so because it's not a flat world what I have to do you <laughs> all the tea all the uh, mobs are under here because it's not a flat world as such we're gonna have to fill this in that's gonna be quite easy because I can use uh, world edit in the future so what I will do is I will transfer this world back to my online world and I can use world edit so I just wanted to show you that uh, let me just do a quick look around I'm going to get rid of the hillside when we go back to world edit uh, and put it back online because uh, world edit is only an online tool you have to use MC edit offline world edit online which is quite handy to have that uh, and what I can use world edit I can replace all these with stone blocks so it's going to be quite easy so uh, and then we can show you around i shall be back for another episode very soon that's yeah we're already there at 15 minutes we'll make this a short episode just to show you how to install uh areas on your map so bye for now and thank you very much indeed please slap that like button please make comments and uh, we'll be back soon